my name is Corey Vineyard, Regional Agronomy Manager for the Delta Region for TMAC Agro USA. I'm coming to you today from a cotton field in West Tennessee. Cotton is a crop that thrives in Tennessee and the rest of the South due to its fondness of uh, heat and, and humidity and moisture. And um, most of the cotton in Tennessee is dry land cotton, which means that uh, we require uh, natural rainfall for all of our uh, moisture needs. But this plant, or this field, was planted in late April, and uh, it's already had to go through some challenging conditions. Uh, we had the wettest May on record, and current conditions are shifting to drier and hotter uh, patterns. So to deal with these conditions, cotton is a hardy plant. It's got a tap root that can extend deep into the soil, and it's also got lateral roots that extend out to uh, increase its range or surface area to acquire more nutrients from the soil. Uh, it produces its fibrous material by first setting buds or squares, which then grow into flowers. The flowers then reveal bowls. Uh, bowls are what encompasses the actual fiber. Uh, those bowls will enlarge and mature and then crack and reveal those fibers. So cotton has vegetative growth and reproductive growth. And as a cotton plant grows, its carbohydrate production and nutrient demand increases. While still supporting vegetative growth, uh, that nutrient demand will go towards the reproductive growth. Um, and although cotton prefers hotter temperatures, it can get too hot. Um, cotton tries to regulate itself and its temperature by evaporative cooling with stomata in the leaves. Uh, but drier conditions and, and hotter temperatures uh, really slow this process down and reduce carbohydrate production. And this results in a increase in respiration and expenditure of energy. So if this occurs or the plant does not receive adequate nutrients, it'll start aborting or shedding uh, subsequent squares and prioritizing those uh, first position fruiting positions. Uh, so you're going to see a loss of yield from that. Uh, TMAC Agro's Fertileader and Tima Upline has been formulated to help the plant conserve water and nutrients and move those water and nutrients to those fruiting structures. And it also improves uh, plant metabolism, therefore increasing the efficiency of the optimization of nutrients within the plant and helps with um, fruit growth and fruit retention. So overall, um, those product lines are made to help uh, cotton be a stronger plant and withstand the conditions that are normal for, uh, for fruit loss. So uh, if you have any more questions or, or want any more info, please contact your local TMAC Agro representative. Thank you.